Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everybody. You can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading, much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here with Aquarius. I'm seeing that there has been some anticipation waiting for a message to arrive, waiting for contact, a text, call, or email, especially strongly on your person's energy. What I'm getting, they're very interested in continuing a conversation and um, continuing where you and this person kind of left off to talk about things. So I see that before things just weren't really working out here. Um, there's been heartbreak. There's been uh, drama. I'm seeing that there's been drama. There's been a lot of people that have been involved that has been blocking the flow between you and your person here. Uh, there's been obstacles and I see that uh, there was a decision that was made in order to change the circumstances to kind of take a break here and to heal things. And I see that you have taken the time to just Focus on recovery and focus on focus on trying to to heal. And I see that somebody has been planning to to try to rebuild a situation or to keep working on this and not work against it, but try to work things out here. So I, I definitely see that there's been some sabotage here before there was a sabotage because there was just a lot of drama a lot of conflict and um changes there's been competition it's been a struggle there's other people involved that kind of uh didn't allow you and this person to really um take things to f uh, a flow that would help move things forward here because i see that there is there has been a connection that's been established between you and this person and i'm seeing that mostly the reason why things haven't really been able to flow is because there's other people involved here and um other circumstances involved so i'm getting that in your person's energy we have talking interested conversing more a weighted message arrives, text, call, or email, and hoovering. So this person has been daydreaming about you. They have not moved on. This person is still not able to move on. I see that they are really confused in terms of like uh, some words that were said over a situation that it came from a place of anger and I see that it left your person confused here and um, I see that there's a lot of choices and options that this person here has and I, I know that they have to make a decision. This person knows that there needs to be some changes in order for, um, there needs to be some changes in order for a, a relationship to evolve here. So. This person is really confused whether or not you feel the same way as they do. So I, I, I am getting that this person has love for you. They really do. And they want union with you. This person wants to be with you. And they're hoping that there's some good changes that can come out of this. They want to move on from the drama. And they want things to just flow. Because I, I do get that this person really does care about you. And this person does want a relationship with you, but they feel like maybe you are, you may feel like they're not the right person for you. So they're pretty much confused here. They're really in their head over 
all of this all of this chaos that has recently happened here and all of these things that were being said that it kind of left your person in a brain fog a daze they're just like pretty much at, zoned out at this point here but they're confused in general there's it doesn't have to do really with you i'm seeing that they are really in a place right now where there's a lot of changes going on that is making a decision hard for this person but they know that they they love you and they know that they care about you and they want to be with you they want to be in a relationship with you they want to be in a union with you they're daydreaming about it as well they're daydreaming ab about being with you and being next to you but they're pretty much waiting for you they're waiting for the the green light from you in your energy we have sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out here five of wands so i'm getting that there's uh drama could be in a work situation but this could also be drama with other people that are involved like friends i'm not getting love triangles not in this reading but i see drama so it's coming in your energy so i get that it's come it's on your side there's drama here on your side that is causing just conflict about whether or not you want to work things forward i'm seeing 33 so I, I i see that you want things to grow and you want things to move forward i see that you're looking forward towards um talking to this person so i see that you kind of already suspect that this isn't over or that there's going to be a message arriving or a conversation with that three of wands here you still feel very passionate about this person i see that you could be possibly watching this person looking at them um i see that you're you're focusing at this point on just the good things you're focusing at a point where you're looking forward towards being able to work things out here and instead of um, being combative or instead of all this drama going on just working together to help build something stronger and to establish a stronger foundation between you and this person because I see that you really miss them you do really miss them when you're not speaking to this person you miss talking to them you miss having that person um that that good morning text or just this person being there for you when you're going through all this drama and all this these changes and conflict so i see that you really miss this person and you really want to talk to them and i see good news coming in here somebody wants to fight for this and i see that it's on your side strongly that you want to fight for this connection here you want things to move forward and we have heart with a key so welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together and perfect so i see you and this person ace of swords this is that this is that conversation that you've been needing to have um there's a lot that needs to be talked about there's a lot of clarity and you're getting an awakening here about how you truly feel welcoming love meeting the one open your heart and getting together and perfect so you feel like this is a breakthrough moment you i'm seeing that all of this drama and all of this on um, these obstacles have brought you clarity you and your person i'm getting that this is mutual that you two uh feel like this you you are each other's person you are each other's one here and i see that this is something that's starting to increase it's starting to uh come out so the clarity is being there and you two are not ready to give up not ready to give up on this connection and wanting to move things forward here because you two really care about each other you miss each other very deeply and i see that you don't want to be without each other here so i see that there's a lot that is going to be talked about but it's it's the conversation it's going to be like a tough conversation but it's necessary it's necessary because this is what brings clarity this is what brings light to the situation and what brings people's true emotions to the surface here 
And because I see that we have the mask, somebody hasn't been showing their true feelings, they've been hiding it, they've been pretending and gaslighting even their true feelings, making it seem like it was less than what it really was. And now I see that, wow, Eight of Wands, things are gonna be moving very quickly. There's a lot, a lot of conversation, back and forth conversation, travel as well here that's gonna be worth celebrating. I see you being with this person. I see that the somebody is now communicating their feelings um, because before they weren't. And like I was saying earlier, this is a tough conversation that needs to happen, but it's necessary in order to allow things to grow and to move things forward. I see adventure, I see um, good times ahead of you, fun times, and I see that there's gonna be more effort that's being put into here, more support in order to balance things out. I'm seeing that somebody's show, showing up as an emperor. So the emperor, this is Aries energy. The emperor is someone who uh, is very mature, but someone who isn't really good at communicating their feelings. They think about what makes sense, what's rational. And um, this person, they, they actually do really love you. And I get that it's reciprocal. But the thing is, is that this person's character is just not somebody who like is openly, openly, does openly communicate their emotions, but I see that it's going to happen. So it's again, that tough conversation that somebody um, needs to, to, to talk about because it's leading confusion about whether or not things are um, reciprocal or unrequited. So let's get some more cards for you guys. Let's get some details here for Aquarius, the signs that I'm seeing so far is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, so I see that in the past there was a karmic situation, karmic people that have just been coming in and causing issues, sabotage, but this is something that needed to happen with this karma. It was for a lesson to be learned here. I see that this could be somebody who you work with or you have worked with before or met through work. Um, they're very confused whether or not you still wanna work things out with them. And I see that you wanna communicate with this person, you wanna talk to them. And I see that there is going to be good news coming in here. Um, you two will talk again. There's lots of back and forth. And I see that this is the soulmate. You're meeting the one. You're meeting your soulmate here. And this is a breakthrough moment. And it could be with a new person or somebody who is showing up as a completely new person because now they're showing up and expressing their feelings, whereas before they never did. Okay, so I'm going to get a few more cards for you guys before I close off this reading for Aquarius. Okay, yeah, look at this. We have unrequited love. There's not enough love, attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Your person they uh, have been really confused whether or not you feel the same way as they do. They feel like you you don't. and um, But the feelings are there. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Feelings have grown already with you and this person. They are there. But at, you're trying to disconnect from all the drama. You're just trying to get some clarity and get some peace of mind here. And I see you getting to know each other even more. And having that necessary tough conversation as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So revealing your, your deep, darkest secrets or revealing your, your, your pain in your past can be a tough conversation that needs to happen that brings you two closer together. But you need to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. 
and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated with you and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation and thank you for watching. Bye.